ko pwede na ba? Hello mga ka-chefies! This is Chef Mom Rosebud. Welcome to my kitchen! Nako, welcome back to me kasi it has been a while since I last uploaded a cooking video. But now I'm back at hindi ko na patatagalin pa. Today I'll be sharing with you a very easy recipe which you could prepare for the coming holiday season kasi nga, burr months na malapit ng magpasko. For today, I'll be sharing with you my no-bake mango and melon nata de coco cake. Let's start! Ayan, naka-apron na ako. Ready to make our very easy recipe for today. Actually, itong recipe na to, sabi ko nga, no-bake mango and melon nata de coco cake. Para siyang crema de fruta. But instead of using yung fruit cocktail, what I'm gonna use for today is our mega prime nata de coco in melon flavor. O, diba? Alam nyo bang meron ng melon flavor? Actually, there are a lot of flavors that are available now at lahat yun ay Pinoy favorites. Merong ube, meron ding pineapple. So, what I'm gonna do now is just get our bowl and I will drain off the juice from our nata de coco. Ayan. So, let's just open this. Of course, ang ating Mega Prime always comes in easy open cans. Okay, so let's just drain off the juice from our nata de coco. Okay. Another one. So, yung juice, tatabi natin yan because we'll be needing it later. Papakita ko sa inyo why. Of course, ang ating Mega Prime nata de coco is available in Walter Mart. Fisher Mall, Robinsons, SM, and other select supermarkets. So, pagkatapos yung panoorin itong video na to, punta na kayo doon para magawa nyo na itong recipe na to. Okay, let's just set this aside first. And then, for the mango, I have here one ripe mango. So, I'm just gonna cube it. Make sure, of course, na pag binili nyo yung mangga, mabango siya. Aamoy nyo kasi dito eh, from the tip. Pag mabango siya, malalaman nyo na sweet yung inyong mango. Ayan. And then, let's just scoop it out with our water goblet para mas mabilis natin makuha yung flesh ng ating mango. There you go. So, very easy. And then, we will just cube this. Okay, we'll just set this aside. Actually, meron na rin akong na-slice kanina ng mga mangoes. Dadagdag ko na lang siya. Okay, so tapos na tayo dun sa ating fruit filling. Ang ating kasing um, recipe for today has different components. Of course, the filling, yung gagamitin nga natin yung ating melon nata de coco and our fresh mango. And we also need the cake base. Yung iba, ang ginagawa nila, they make the sponge cake from scratch. But this, since this is a no-bake recipe, ayoko kayong pahirapan, gagamit tayo ngayon ng cupcake. So, this one you could buy from the groceries. And you just slice it in half. So, this will serve as our cake base. So, just slice it like so in the middle. Yan. Actually, meron na rin akong na-prepare ahead of time here. So, lalagay ko lang to dito. Yung iba ang ginagamit naman nila is yung broas or yung lady fingers. Pwede rin yun. Pero I find this kasi na mas maganda tignan din at saka mas masarap. Okay, now we'll be making the cream mixture. Unang-una, painitin muna natin yung ating pan. So, just on low heat, I have here our full cream milk. Dun sa mga nanonood ko ng mga kasyefis, don't worry. Like always, I'll place the instructions and the ingredients at the description box para magawa nyo to sa bahay nyo. So, just slowly put your milk dito sa inyong pan. There. Okay. And then, I'll be adding our egg yolks. So, lagay lang natin siya dito together with the milk and just Mix it with a wire whisk. Mas magandang wire whisk para madurog yung ating egg yolk. There. So, just mix it like so. Okay. Once you see na na-mix na yung ating egg yolk together with our milk, we could now add in our sugar. Okay. 
So just mix it again. Let the sugars dissolve dun sa ating milk mixture. Make sure na walang crystals. So just mix it like this. And then we have here our cornstarch, pampalapot. Just continue stirring it as it thickens. So this will thicken after mga 8 minutes. So balikan natin to after 8 minutes. Ayan, lumapot ng ating cream mixture after around 8 minutes of stirring it on low heat. Ayan, this is good. So, kailangan yung ganyan, oh, mas thicker na yung consistency niya. Actually, if you get the back of a spoon, kuha tayo ha, papakita ko sa inyo. Parang ito, dapat nagko-cover siya sa back of the spoon. Ayan, see? So, alam nyo na yung tama na yung kanyang thickness. So, let me just set this aside now. Actually, wait. Tanggalin muna natin. Off heat, pinatay ko na. And then, we're gonna be adding our vanilla. Off heat yan. And then, mix it again. Okay, so palamigin natin siya. Let this cool down. And we will be needing it again later pag assembly time na. Ayan, okay? And then, we proceed to the next part of our recipe, yung ating gelatin mixture. So, tapos na yung ating cream filling. Gagawin ko na yung ating gelatin like what I said earlier. So, we just need actually water. And then, we have here our gelatin powder. So, lagay lang natin siya dito sa ating water. And let us mix that. So, mix lang natin siya. Ayan. There. Okay. And then, we will let this... Cook and simmer, or simmer, hindi <laughs> naman natin siya lulutuin. Luluto ba ang gelatin? Tama ba yung term ko? Anyway, we'll just let this simmer dito sa ating pan. Then we add in our sugar. So mix it all. Ayan, hayaan lang din natin like what I did earlier dun sa ating cream mixture na mag-melt yung ating sugar. Okay, so once the sugar dissolves, we could now add in yung ating juice from the nata de coco melon. So this will add color and flavor to our dish. There you go. And just continue mixing and let this simmer for around 5 minutes on low heat lang. Ayan. So, after around 5 minutes of mixing and making mixing, <laughs> of mixing and making sure na yung sugar natin and gelatin are dissolved already, we could now turn off the heat, let this cool down, and I'm ready for assembly time! Okay, nag-cool down na yung ating cream filling. Pati na rin yung ating gelatin mixture. So, cool down na siya. Let us start assembling our no-bake cake. So, ito na yung mga na-slice ko na cupcakes earlier. So, let's just place it here at the bottom of our pan. So, let's just make sure that it is properly covered. And then, we're gonna get our cream fillings. So, we will place it on top of our cupcakes. So, dapat generous amount. So, you actually you can make this together with your kids. Let them join you. Lalo pag mga assembly time, si Kaden, he likes assembling things. Gusto niya yung putting together things. Tapos pag nakita niya na yung end product, makatuntuwa yun. So, this is actually an activity that you could make together with your young kids at home. Okay, and then we add in our cube mango and our nata de coco melon. So, unahin na muna natin yung ating mango. Just place it here on top. So, scatter nyo lang. Make sure lang that every area has your filling. So, like I said, ang ating mega prime nata de coco has Pinoy favorites. At ang gamit nga natin ngayon ay melon, pero meron ding ube at meron ding pineapple. Alam mo, bagay din yung pineapple dito actually. 
Melon and pineapple. Melon, mango, and pineapple. Yan. Try niyan, yan, mga ka-chefies. Okay, and now the melon. Tikman ko to, ah. Tikman ko lang din muna. Don't worry, may hands clean. Ang mm, sarap. Ang mm, sarap. Lasang-lasang melon talaga. Tsaka nakakatuwa kasi ang ating nata tigoko. Siyempre, meron siyang crunch and texture. May bite. Sarap, ha? So good. Para feeling ko, pwede nga itong gawing yung, yung mga melon shake or melon juice. This is so good. And then, we'll just repeat the layer one more time. So again, our cupcakes, our cream filling, and then our fruits. Ayan, malapit na ako matapos. Hindi na talaga lugi yung mga anak nyo dito sa recipe na to. Nakita nyo naman kung gaano kadami yung ating ingredients, hindi ba? Ang ganda pa niya tignan. Okay, now we're gonna just add some bottled cherries. You can also buy this from the grocery. Para meron tayong red color. Tsaka, since I said nga na pwede itong pang Pasko, <laughs> diba? Ang ganda ng kulay niya. Okay, so this is good. Now, I'm gonna get our gelatin mixture. So, I will just pour this on top of our yan, pan there. So, just pour it out like that. Make sure that all of the fruits are covered. There you go. And what I'm gonna do next is, of course, we have to chill this overnight para magkapit yung ating uh, mga flavors together and of course for our gelatin to harden. So lalagyan lang to sa ref. Pero syempre meron na akong pinipare ahead of time. Papakita ko sa inyo yan in a while. Ito na mga ka-chefies. Yung sabi ko nga that I made ahead of time ang aking no-bake mango and melon nata de coco cake. Syempre kumuha na ako ng slice. Tikman ko muna. Mmm! Grabe yung tikim ko. Ang sarap! Ang sarap! Nako, patok na patok to sa inyong pamilya, I'm sure. Mmm! So good! You should try this at home. Maraming salamat again mga ka sa pagsama niyo sa akin today. Sana naman ay nag-enjoy kayo dito sa episode na to. And I hope that you learned something new. Again, do sa mga unang beses na nanonood ngayon, I hope that you like this video. Of course, don't forget to share and to subscribe to my channel as well. Sa mga ka ko, again, try this recipe at home and I'll see you again next time for another recipe. Bye! Keep safe, guys! Kain mo na ako, ha? Ay, grabe na to. Grabe! Mmm!